sunshine. Here we go. Um, I wanted to go through my cook kit, uh, just like Moose kind of did with his, because, you know, why not, right? Um, I got a Tokes 750 milliliter pot, okay? It holds a little over two cups of water, um, and nice lid. Um, I carry one small can and one large can usually with me. Um, when I'm on a plane, you know, you can't carry these, so I'll buy these at Walmart when I get there or wherever. Uh, that goes in there, and then I have my BRS stove, and I have the Whisper Light stove, or the uh, MSR Pocket Rocket. The Pickup Pocket Rocket 2 is an awesome stove, so is this. Um, they're both really light. This one is a better stove, a better quality built stove. However, um, I was, uh, my MSR went down one time and I didn't have a way of cooking food and I had to use a uh, alcohol stove and it wasn't really a good stove at all. It wasn't really good. So, that being said, no problem. Um, I'll just carry both of them. This one weighs like ounces. It's, it's not really, the BRS doesn't hardly weigh anything. So I'll put the BRS in there, um, and then my coffee cup, I have a collapsible coffee cup. Um, I've had this thing forever. Uh, and then there's, that's my cook kit. Um, this is literally, uh, with the exception of the extra stove, is the exact same thing I carried all the way on the 18th the first time. So, pretty close to everything is just the same. There's, there may be a few changes that, I, that I've come up with. So anyway, here's my stove. Um, my stoves are all packed up. All of this is going to go into my bear bag. Um, bear bag. Uh, the last thing I'll put in my bear bag when I when I get out uh, when I get up in the morning, this will be the first thing I pack up. Um, breakfast, uh, like oatmeal. Put a bunch of oatmeal in there. Um, I generally have Ziploc bags, everything, but for food, nor pasta size, spam and uh, ramen noodles, that's a classic. Um, the Mountain House, dude, they ever pass up uh, a Mountain House, especially if, you're in the, if it's in a hiker box. You might as well just grab it. Um, I have a bunch of, of um, I have a bunch of drink flavors, and I have Tony Chachers to spicy mix for salt and spice, um, and then I have all of my drink mixes. I carry a bunch of those. Um, I have sugar. You gotta carry your own sugar, you gotta carry your own salt, you gotta carry your own everything. So, um, this is sugar and tea. Um, tune packets, spam packets, um, shredded beef, uh, if you're into that thing. This will go into my hip pouch on my back. So, this is just snacks for the day. Um, let's see. Oh, other things that go into this the spoon, the ever popular spoon. Get a long one. If you don't have one already, they're just worth it. It, it makes it so much easier when you're eating you know, out of these bags. Um, I've got the same kind of gear that everybody else has. Uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, toothpaste, toothbrush. I carry a duck. Thank you, Riley. Here's my duck. Um, I do put on deodorant. It's just good to smell. You, you're not going to smell it, but everybody else will smell you. Or something like that. I don't know. There's some. I just have it. Um, this is a um, razor. I shave. Uh, I usually don't use soap anyway, so I just shave. It's, it's easy. Uh, ibuprofen. Knickknacks I picked up over the, over the trails. Long uh, Lone Star Trail. Uh, chicken sock band, uh, band and a uh, Deadwood uh, coin from the Centennial Trail. Uh, toenail clippers. Um, honey and honey and coffee so if you're throwing stuff in here you're frequently going to not put it in the right place uh, just because you know we're human and that's cool um, you can always since you have a bear bag you can always just throw this stuff back in the bear bag but look at that I actually found the right bag and put it in this time crazy right uh, a lot of these things I do see them on the back but when you squish them, they may pop, so you kind of want to get the air out as much as you can. Um, things won't be moving around in this bag as much, you know, and that's why I keep putting them in bags, because they, they still move around a little bit. Uh, there are other things, oh, 
more junk to go in here. Okay. Uh, this is a headlamp. It's a spare. It has like a, a little uh, plastic tab. I picked it up at Walmart. There was like a pack of three for 10 bucks or something. Um, so that goes in here. I left the plastic tab in there so that it doesn't, it's just a bad, it's just an extra headlamp. Who knows? You never know when you need one. Um, this and this. This is uh, dental floss. Uh, good for your teeth, but it's also good for sewing. And I have a uh, sewing needle. So use this, I use this sewing needle. I've got it taped right now to a uh, Jimmy John's uh, sandwich shop card. Uh, my dad got me. Dad got me sandwiches. Uh, thanks, Dad. And um, so it just goes into a little case and it just slips in your bag. You hopefully don't ever need to use a needle like that, but if you do, you got it, okay? Um, that all goes in here, all the food stuff going here, all of the, the stuff that smells, right? Um, another thing, Ziploc bags. I only use freezer bags. Um, I've got quart size freezer bags, I've got gallon size freezer bags. Use the gallons for trash, um, and you'll use the gallons for other things. So if it's raining like constantly, you'll pick your stuff up and you'll see that there was a leak or something. So you'll put some more stuff into one of these. Um, I've I put my socks in here. Uh, there, there is a time when you start where, you, and as you as you hike, you'll change the way you do things. Some people stuff their tent in the bottom of their bag. Some people put it into a, a compression sack before they do that. It doesn't really matter. Whatever your choice is, and as long as it all fits in this, and you can carry it down the road. Okay. Here we go. There. Now, uh, last thing, bear bag. This is a bear bag hanging kit. Okay, um, it is just a uh, string and a carabiner and a little bag to put some rocks in. So that's for carrying that. All right, that should do all of the cooking. I'm not taking this um, because I just have too many of them. And I'm not actually going to take these. I'll have to take these out before I get on to the point. Okay, um, the needle that I got, I got them at Walmart. They're like $2 a piece. You get four of them. I need one of those. I'm using the second to the largest one because it fits on a credit card. I have three more needles, so I, I'm going to bring these with me to Arizona, but I'm not going to need all three needles. So, um, But you got to provide your own credit card. So that works out that way. All right, so this is all done. Now, uh, let's go over one thing um, in the order of packing. When I did my food bag, when I get up in the morning, this will be the first thing I have to pack up. Okay, and I'll pack it. I'll generally fold, do this, and then as I'm packing other stuff, I'll have to unpack this because I'll either want something or I'll need or I'll want to put something in there. Okay, so if I'm inside my tent right now, I just packed up the very first thing that I would do in the morning. Okay, next thing I would do in the morning would be my um, I would pack my bag that has all my sleeping stuff in it. Okay, so that would be my um, my sleeping bag. I would roll up my sleeping bag and put this away. Um, I would roll up my sleeping pad. Now, you can stuff your sleeping bag, you can roll it. It doesn't matter. Get all the air out of it. That's the goal, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's what you're aiming for, okay? Um, so, sleeping pad. I do have a blow-up pillow. It works really well. Sometimes I put it in its little case that's attached to it. Sometimes I don't. Um, I do like the little strap that comes on this. This was a uh, $20 thing from Trekology. $20, nice pillow, and I'll throw that into my bag. It's a good comfort item. The pillow's well worth it. Some people don't use them, some people do. All right, so um, that's my sleep. Oh, and then this is a sleeping bag liner. So I, I started off with one of these. I finished with one of these. Um, they add one degree of R, something crazy like that, right? This is the uninsulated version. Um, I slept with this the whole entire time on the trail. I've got a replacement after I got off the trail because this one was so stinky I couldn't clean it enough to get it clean to where it didn't smell. Um, but it'll help save your bag and it'll help save the smell on your bag and it'll give you a little insulation. So that goes in the bag. Um, and then that is my sleeping kit right there, okay? All of this goes into this bag at the bottom, all right? But before I do that, I have a trash compactor bag. Now, I don't use uh, the white um, Ziploc bag, uh, white trash bag. 
This is the compacted bag. You can get it from Walmart for like $10 for 50. I bring a new one every single time I go uh, hiking. I usually take two or three of these with me um, to start the, whatever trip I'm in because I'll leave them on the side uh, or in the car before I go hike. And that way if somebody forgot one or if they don't have a good compactor bag, if they have just a crappy bag, then they got a good compactor bag. Okay? Compactor, not contractor. It's a big difference. So first thing goes in the bag will be my tent. Um, I'm going to half and half it right now. This is the X-Mid one-person bag. This is the X-Mid two-person bag. I actually don't know if they're different. I'm sure they're a different size. Um, so I'm going to switch these out on this bag. Not that I'm going to use my bag for this. Um, my tent, I just jam in here. Unless it's raining, if it's raining, I'll put it on the outside and dust the bungee cord. I, I picked this bag because it meets every single little thing that I, I wanted in the bag, right? Um, it's got the bungee cords. It's got the, the mesh pocket. But the, the important part between the mesh and the bungee was the bungee because I can attach my tent, if it's wet, to the outside of my bag and it'll drop. So it rains, uh, you wake up in the morning, you, you're you walking down the trail, it's dry, it's sunny, because it's dry, it does that a lot. You'll lay out your tent, it'll dry up, pack it, put it back into your bag. But for right now, just shove it in the bottom. All right, switching out my two uh, sleeping kit bags. There we go. And oh, all right. Um, underneath my sleeping kit, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm telling you, don't put your tent in first. First thing that goes in will be your clothes. So I have shirts, gaiters for your neck, um, for your head. I've got a wool shirt, no cotton, zero cotton, polyester at the least. Um, I've got merino wool t-shirt. Um, all of this is. I'm going to wear, I'll be wearing this, I'll be wearing my pants, um, I have a sleep shirt and a sleep set under garments, um, I'll be wearing my puffy when I start the day, only thing I won't be wearing is swimming trunks, definitely need swimming trunks, and I won't be wearing my four pair of socks, okay, so uh, in the cold, I have a pair of socks here, um, I'll wear one pair of socks, and then I have a pair of socks here that are humongous. Look at the length of these things. They're ridiculous, okay? But what they do is they, they will go all the way up my knees and they actually act as a set of wool uh, underpants, you know, wool long johns. So they come up to my knees and keep the bottom portion of my leg warm. I'll wear these, this big sock on top of one of these little socks so that, um, you know, you can wear the big sock a little bit longer. So, clothes go in there first. I will take extra bandanas with me. I put those in there too, because you never know. Um, while you're on the trail, you'll pick up things along the trail that you want to mail home, or that you, you want to get in a box somewhere, or that you're, you know, you've been looking for this one piece of gear. A uh, little American flag, another little bag I've had. I've had this bag since I started hiking, and it's just, always gone into my bag, I find uses for it, whether I need to or not, you know, there's always something here, I stuff in the bag. All right, now the tent. Oh. Bring it hey, really screwing this up. Okay, so what goes in the bag next? Not the tent, sleeping bag. Why? Well, because you can put this pill down here at the bottom, it fills up this whole bottom right off the back, okay? So you got your clothes, you got your tent, okay? And you can start this tent, your sleeping bag. You can squish your sleeping bag. I put mine lengthwise, you can put it sideways like this. It doesn't really matter. Um, whatever is comfortable for you. I put it sideways because I have a very narrow bag and it goes right up my narrow back and it just it works stacked right on top of each other. So um, I put that in there. I put my sleep system in there next. So that will be this. Ha! Ah, yet another bag. Because when you go and you, you're you unpacking for the night, you know, when you're unpacking for the night, this will be one of the first things you want to pull out of your bag, is your tent. Alright. Man. So, 
I'm wearing all of that. Okay? Uh, I do have a hat, a puffy hat here. Let me get it. Uh, puffy hat. I got a wide brim hat. Okay? Um, it's just, the brim is to keep rain off the glasses. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter that it's dorky looking. Um, it also keeps a little sun off my ears. Uh, if you're out in the sun a lot, you want to keep the sun off your ears and off your, your face if you can, because it's a lot of sun. Because you're there all day. Um, pair of shoes, regular old tennis shoes, hiking, um, hiking shoes. Uh, trail runners, pretty much. I spent, I think, 40 bucks on these. Until you get to Pennsylvania, and then again in the lights, you really don't need heavy boots at all. Um, and you don't really need the heavy boots. You just need something with what they call a rock plate, which is a metal plate or a plastic plate that goes along the bottom of your sole. So there's the rubber that meets the road, and then there's that metal plate or that plastic plate. Um, sorry, it's a plastic plate. And then, you know, then there's the insulation or the, the insert, okay? Um, that plate actually will help you in Pennsylvania and especially in the whites, because there's tons of rocks and you're gonna do a lot of rock scrambling up north. And that's when you need it, not in the beginning. Beginning, tennis shoes will be fine. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, stakes. I've got a set of eight stakes I just got. Um, I've got probably 10 or 15 more. Uh, 10 or, yeah, 10 or 15 more. Um, they're really good stakes. Um, they're from uh, Pariah. Uh, they're little blue teeny teeny stakes. And then my tent only needs four stakes to hold it up, so I only need four stakes. Four stakes. So, I, sometimes I'll put it into my bag, sometimes I'll put it down here at the bottom. I've been in the habit recently of putting it down here at the bottom of my net. I don't know why, I think it's just because that's the way I'm packing things up. Um, let's go over my, oh, let's go over the stuff I put in this outside pouch just for a second, okay? I've got my, um, my headlamp. You don't need a big headlamp like this. You can get a small one. You can just carry a flashlight. That's totally cool too. Uh, flashlights, Moose uses just a flashlight. I use a headlamp, um, and then I'll also use, you can get a really small headlamp now, um, and it's almost as bright as one of these. These things are bright as all get out. So when you go, when you're walking down the trail, it's nice to have one of these. But what I'll do is I'll put it off, turn it off before I put it in my pack. Um, I'll put it down at the bottom of this, this inside pocket, uh, outside pocket. And the reason I put it down at the bottom is because I'll put more stuff on top of that. There's two more things that go into this pocket all the time. Okay. Um, one of those is my uh, toiletries for, for the bathroom. So I have a, a, a trowel, you know, so you got the deuce of space. I got a roll of toilet paper and I got uh, flushables, wipes, and they're, uh, they're, they're flushables, they're plant based fibers, they're good for the, you know, and they're biodegradable, etc. Everybody carries something different. I carry this. I usually carry one or two rolls of toilet paper. You'll be in the habit of getting toilet paper out of toilet bathrooms or out of bathrooms. You'll go to the library and you'll just be rolling up toilet paper on your hand because you're going to need it later. Okay? Um, this little bag goes on the outside because you, you got to go. Chances are you got to go. All right. Um, now we get to, oh, snap. We get to um, the water, uh, water filtration. Okay. And typical, I pack the little bag that, um, the little bag that, that you generally go to. Get all of this stuff out of That's why I carry that bag.
I have a drip system. Moose has a drip system. Uh, I met Moose actually in, a, in uh, we were collecting water and he had a, a squeeze thing with the Sawyer squeeze for a while. I mean, we've tried a whole bunch of things. This seems to be the most tried and true. It's just a plastic c -knock bag with uh, an attachment and a hose. And then I have what I have, a quick connect so that I can connect my water filter to another hose with a little surgical thing. So this keeps closed or open. I'll leave it open, right? Um, and when I go, I'll fill up water. I'll put my one liter uh, smart water bottle, boom, and just hang this up. It's a drip. Um, at night, if it's not freezing uh, and you get water, it will be not uncommon to see people going and getting uh, another liter of water or two, two liters of water. This is two liters. Um, another couple of liters of water at night um, that way, in the morning, they get up, they cook breakfast, and as soon as they're done with breakfast, they um, as soon as they're done with breakfast, they can fill up their smart water bottles. They have two of them, two liters, and one on each side of your pack, and they can go hiking from there, and it, it'll be full. And then you can just dump the rest, um, so you don't really need it. I also have a Sawyer squeeze bag that I've cut. The reason I cut this is because sometimes the water is it just trickle and you need to have a cup or something to kind of hold water and then pour it into your filter. Um, yeah, it takes a little bit of time sometimes. Sometimes it's really quick, sometimes it's really slow. Um, but water's, water isn't usually a problem on the AT, or at least it wasn't in 2018 when I hiked. Um, so, uh, Sawyer Squeeze, that goes on the outside of my pack too. Um, if it's cold, if it's snowing, if it's, if it's freezing, what I'll do is I won't put this on the outside of my pack. I'll take my Sawyer Squeeze, I'll unscrew it from everything and keep just the filter inside my puppy as I hide. Uh, if, you're, if it gets broken, if it gets frozen, it breaks because the water expands and cracks the ceramic. It's just a no way, no situation. Anyway, there we go. All right, that's all done. So that goes on this outside pocket. The reason I put this on the outside pocket is because if you come up to a water source, it's really handy to have this just outside. There we go. All right. All done. All right. That's all done. Now, I've got a bunch of... Okay, so there's not much left, right? All we have is uh, we have electronics, right? A little bag, um, see it's on the bag, you know, a little waterproof bag. I actually got this on the trail. So, um, I have electronics. I have a charger, I have an extra spare battery, um, and cables. All the cables you need, right? Then I also bring these kind of cables. So, this is just a, a, a universal adapter. You can get any kind you want. I get it just because I know that there are people who come out there. Eh, I get it. Whatever. Um, I got a little uh, pad of paper and uh, a pen. Okay? I carry pens and pencils with me, or pens with me, um, because you never know when you need to write something. I do carry a wallet. I put that in the bag, right? And then if I put that in the bag, then it goes, it, it just stays there. You know, you know where it is. Uh, this is my Walkman, okay? Um, I've had this, oof, so it's only this big, right? It's only a little bitty thing. Um, and it has plugs, earplugs. Uh, it works really well. And I'm not gonna get rid of it. It goes here, it goes, huh. It just goes into the, uh, electronics bag as well, unless I'm using it. And it goes into my, um, uh, hip belt. Um, I take an extra flashlight, odds and ends and stuff. Um, here's a battery pack, a second battery pack. I'm taking two 10,000 mAh battery packs. Um, they are, uh, I, I don't know, they're just battery packs. So charge them up, use them. Um, the AT guide. I take this with me. I always keep it in the plastic bag. I'll put paper in here. I'll put pens in here. Um, and what I do is I keep this so that I have a guide with me all the time and um, I have a place to mark where I'm going to sleep because I do, do mark that in the book um, and um, I'll take a picture of this 
and I'll put this on my phone so I can uh, take pictures of what I'm going to hike that day. You know, two two pages, and then I've got that on my phone just in case. Okay, um, so I do that. I make my mark for the night where I spent the night, and then I also keep postcards and paper. You're gonna there's just a ton of stuff. This keeps it dry. The bag keeps it keeps it dry. Um, let's see. Uh, SD cards. I have a bunch of SD cards for my phone. Um, they're 32 gigs. What I did was I bought a little bitty teeny dongle. Um, it's very small, and it comes. Uh, let's see where can I go. It's uh, about twice the size of a piece of uranium that uh, the mining company used. But um, it's literally an adapter. I can put a 64 gig memory card in here, and then I have all my pictures. Um, I have that, I have this, the other one, I just keep them there. I keep uh, chargers that I can plug into the wall so I can get a USB charge. And I keep an extra um, water filter, uh, water filter washer, okay? These things disappear. I don't know how many times I needed one and I've had one, so I can get more, all right? So I always keep one. Um, and then this isn't necessarily electronics, this is string. But I put that in the bag. I carry string with me. Um, I also carry, um, this is a thing of tenacious tape. Um, never had to use it, but it's a, um, let's see what else. I gotta quit saying, um, this is a carabiner and a mask. You never know where you're gonna be. Uh, I'll keep an extra lighter in here. And that's about all that goes into this bag, okay? So, I'm down to really nothing much left to pack in the bag, right? There's my electronics, they go in. Um, if, I, if I'm hiking and I need to, what I'll do is I'll put this puppy on the, in the last little bit of the bag, right? I put that in the bag so, you know, if I'm, if I'm hiking, I can get it if I need it. If I don't need it, eh, I got it, whatever. Okay. Book, put those in the bag, inside the bag, in the bag, okay? Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have a small bag that I carry with me to go to town to pick up stuff. Sometimes uh, we'll go into town and it'll be five to ten miles into town. What we'll do is we'll get off the trail, we'll hang our bags, and we'll bury them in the leaves, and then um, uh, cover them up, and then take little bags into town. It makes it easier. You're not carrying 35 pounds in the bag, 35 pounds, and somebody's going to take your stuff on the trail. So you hide it pretty well, you know, um, go off trail, pack it up. But anyway, that goes in there. Okay, now, all of that being said, the only thing that's left now is a couple of little extra bags, one of which is going to have my tent, x 2, the x 2 tent in it. Um, and I carry that because I may or may not need the bag. Um, I carry an extra bag just in case I need something, okay? With that being said, everything in here except for food right now. Um, let me get this situated and food. Okay, so this is a small bag of food. Um, I have a lot of extra stuff in here. I will be either giving away or uh, getting rid of. I'm only going to carry two days worth of food. So this is a lot of stuff for two days worth of food. There is two days worth of food in here. Well, I mean, I guess that is, that's two days worth of food. There's a uh, ramen bomb and a um, mountain house. So there you go, there's two days worth of food. That goes in a pack. What, um, when you're packing your snacks, I have found that I'll take a small bag and I'll put my small bag into my hip pouch and then I'll take the rest of it and I'll put this into my food bag. Then I, I don't have to worry about it. It's there. You know, the, the snacks are always there. And when you break for lunch, you know, you're gonna this will be the first thing you take out. You're gonna take out that, you're gonna take out your sit pad, you sit on your sit pad, and you eat lunch. Okay? Or for that matter, coffee breaks. Or you know, safety meetings, whatever, whatever you're gonna do, okay? Um, so this goes into that. Now, my bag is now full, okay? I have roll top bags. It's not like Moose's and Danny Boy's where it's at. Uh, it's the, the Osprey, right? I've got that. What looks like an ultralight bag, okay? I carry two uh, one liter water bottle 
I go in my side pouches right here. Uh, got my trek bowls for my trek bowl tin. Oops. And as usual, I forgot. Okay. Um, I brought a bowl. The bowl can go anywhere. Um, I do have flip flops. I'm carrying flip flops this time. Uh, we are not going to go do any major river crossings in the very beginning that I can remember. Um, and if we did, uh, flip flop would work for whatever I'm, I'm going to be walking in the water. It's going to be cold, but I'll put the flip flops in. Okay? Uh, flip flops go in here. My pad, sit pad, goes in here. And then this is something new I'm taking. And this is a sleeping pad. Okay? Um, I'm taking this, it's extra, but it's supposed to, and we're going to test this out, it's supposed to uh, give me extra insulation uh, on the ground. So I would put this down first, and then I would put my sleeping pad, blow it up, then I would put my sleeping bag on top of it. Those three things are supposed to keep me warm. We'll find out. Um, for right now, I'm just going to put this on straight up the middle because it's easy and that's the way I would pack it on the trip. Easy. Uh, and then that's it. That's that's everything that, that's supposed to go in. Here's a smudge stick. This super awesome lady from um, uh, the Black Elk uh, State, State Park? Federal Park? Um, and at the end of the Centennial Trail, she gave us a smudging stick and we had a smudging ceremony. It was awesome. Um, thank you very much. You're a wonderful person. I think, um, hopefully, you got the box that I sent you. I, I sent a bunch of uh, smudge sticks from places because she was so nice. Um, oh, the one thing I did forget. There is one thing I did forget. Rain jacket. Okay? I don't care to rain pants. Um, I should. I wish I did have rain pants, but I don't. Uh, is it going to be cold? Yeah. That's what I got. Um, we'll see what happens. It's all good. Yeah. So, uh, this will go on the outside of the pack. Um, I can put it on the outside, I can put it on the inside. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's not enough weight uh, to slow things down, but there you go. There's two days worth of food. Everything packed, ready to go. Um, I got couple hats. I'm not going to wear this one. I'm going to get a better one or a different one. Um, let's see. That's about it. Things that go into my side pouches are a little bitty teeny pocket knife. I'll put one of those in my side pouch. I'll put, uh, sometimes I'll have a battery, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I have food, sometimes I won't. It depends. I generally don't rely on these side pockets anymore much. I know at the beginning I did a lot. Now I don't. Alright. Here we go. And the cat says it's time.